Hey guys, what's up? It's Maggie. It's good to be back. If you're a veteran to the IFD channel, then you already know who I am. But if you're new here, again, my name's Maggie. I'm a med student in the southeastern U.S. Me and my brother John run this channel because we used to be MCAT tutors and we feel like we have some knowledge to share with people who are going to take the MCAT soon. But there are certain videos like the video today that I think are not just going to apply to med students or t students taking the MCAT, but students that are studying for anything. So as you saw in the title of this video, this video is going to be all about time management. And while there's like a ton of videos out there that are going to tell you to um, have work hours where you like uh, wake up at 6 a.m. and work until 6 p.m. and then take the rest of the day off or to keep a planner, or use Google Calendar or something like that. That's fine. And those are good tips. And I use those things. But I actually, I don't think that that's probably what most students struggle with. Most students probably have a Google Calendar that's filled out with everything that they need to do. And they like to wake up at a certain time and stop working at a certain time. Like that's, that's idealistic. But probably the most confusing part for a student is sticking to that routine. And also like, I know as a pre-med student, at least that's my experience. So that's what I can speak to. You're juggling like 500 things at once. You're trying to do research. You're trying to do extracurriculars. You're trying to write your application. You're trying to study for the MCAT. You're trying to study for your classes. Like it's a lot. And I'm just going to let you know, once you get into med school, it doesn't really get any better. You still feel like you're juggling a lot of different stuff. So over the past couple of years that I've been in med school, these are things that I have found that have really helped that feeling of like, oh my God, I have so much to do and I don't even know what to do. These are tips that have helped with my grades. These are tips that have helped with my having more time to myself. These are tips that have mainly helped with my peace of mind. So I've just brain dumped a bunch of them on my computer right here and I'm going to go through a couple of them. This video will get too long if I go through all of them, but I'm gonna go through a couple of them today and then I'll probably make another video on the rest of them later. I do wanna preface this. I do not do these things all the time. I wish I did because every time I do them, it helps me, but I want to be transparent. I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm a human and I don't do all these things all the time, but these are just tips to have in the back of your mind. Take them or leave them. So tip number one is to reprioritize every day. This is going to be most helpful for those students who are, like I said earlier, juggling 500 things at once. Sometimes Anki is going to be the most important thing or studying for the MCAT is going to be the most important thing. Sometimes you have a midterm coming up in your class and you're going to need to focus more on that. Sometimes you have a research deadline and you're going to have to focus on that. And so what happens is that sometimes students can get too stagnant in their routine and they can say, okay, well, I wake up every day and I do Anki for an hour or two. But like sometimes you're like rushing through that Anki because you're freaking out because you have like a deadline for something else. And at the end of the day, it, it doesn't serve you to be doing Anki at that point. So what I do every day when I wake up is I make a list of everything that I want to get done that day. And for me, I'm like really academic focused because I'm in my didactic years. I'm in my second year. And so like it's a lot of it is like lectures and Anki and assignments and stuff like that. But if I have an assignment that's due tomorrow, I'm not going to wake up and do Anki first thing. I'm going to do that assignment first thing and knock it out. If I'm six lectures behind... I'm not going to wake up and work on some assignment that's not due in a week. I'm going to knock those lectures out. This stuff seems to me like common knowledge or like common sense. But I swear to you, when you actually have this like mentality of like every day I'm going to wake up and I'm going to figure out what's most important for that day and I'm going to knock it out, it helps with your stress so much. So don't be too static in your schedule. Knock out the things that are the most important, the most pressing first. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is something that this is one of those things that like I don't do all the time, but I really, really wish I did. Tip number two, if something takes less than five minutes, do it as soon as you think about it. This is like putting the dishes up, responding to an email, some really quick assignment where it's just like you go in and you evaluate your professor or something. Like I have such a bad habit of scheduling those things out. Like, oh, I'm going to put a time later this afternoon to reply back to this email. Like, no, just, just do it right then. And that will help not only with like your school and your professional life. Life, it will help with your personal life as well. Because I know right now I have clothes sitting on my dryer that need to be put up and it would take less than five minutes to put them up. But instead, I'm just letting it like nag on the back of my brain like, oh, I need to put this clothes up. I need to put this clothes up. I'll put them up later today. I need, I'm just going to go do it after this video, actually. <laughs> this is again one of those things that's just going to help your mental load, which I think is probably like, I guess is the big problem to me as a student is like, I'm just stressed about all these things I have to do. And it's not that 
I don't know what to do is that I don't know how to organize these things and I don't know how to prioritize these things. So tip number two, if something takes less than five minutes to do, just do it immediately as soon as you think about it. Tip number three is something that works really well if you are studying like long hours or if you're like me and you're like maybe borderline ADHD and like you zone out really bad or like lose motivation really badly and like you just feel like you can't get something done. So the tip is to move on. If you are sitting at your computer and you're doing Anki and you've been doing it for an hour and a half and you find yourself spending five minutes on every card because you just click and you're like, like looking around, maybe stop doing Anki. And I'm not saying push it off until tomorrow, like still do it today, but maybe move on to something else that you have to do that day. I know myself, I can only like push myself through a lull like that for so long. And I will, I will try. If I'm doing Anki and I'm, I'm looking around and I'm taking forever to answer every single card, I will try to push through and I'll try to just be like, Maggie, just get through it. But if I'm like really bad zoning out, I'll just move on to something else. I'll watch a lecture. I'll do some assignments. I'll work on IFD stuff. And I'll come back to Anki later. This can get dangerous if you're the type of person that thinks that you'll put off something and then just eventually not come back to it later. But th that just kind of, you got to dig into your self-discipline and realize that you are kind of giving yourself a pass to move on from that subject for now and move on to something else in the expectation that you're going to come back to that thing later. So tip number three, if you are really not able to push yourself through something, just move on for now. And the last one, and this is my favorite one, this may sound a little bit cliche, so warning, but do one thing every day that works on every single one of your goals. By that, I mean, if you have three different things, say in your life. For me, I have school, med school, I have this business, and I have research. Of course, I have a personal life as well, but I guess I'm very specifically talking about like professional life right now. Every single day, I'm going to do at least something that relates to all three of those goals. So of course, I'm always going to do school stuff. That's always the easy one. But also, I'm always going to do something every day that works on IFD. And it may not be a whole sit down and I'm doing stuff for three hours. It may be like for five minutes, I'm just organizing something or I am um, writing a YouTube script or I am filming this video or I am working on one of our other projects that have not been announced yet, but I'm so excited about them. Every day I'm doing a little bit of something for IFD research and school. And let me be clear, this is not because five minutes of your day is going to make a huge difference. This is so that you can sleep at night knowing that you're working on progressing every aspect of your professional life and every one of your goals. This is again that mental load thing. This video really should be titled like how to reduce your mental load. Also when you get to the end of the week and you have to answer to your uh, PI or your business partner or just yourself, you have something to say that you have been working on this because you haven't just been putting it off until the day that suddenly everything else in your life is going to evaporate and you have a whole day to work on this one goal. That's never going to happen. So tip number, do one thing every day that works on every one of your goals. Okay, so I don't want this video to get too long, so I have a couple other tips, but I will leave them uh, for a future video. So let's go over all the things I mentioned. Tip number one, reprioritize your day every day. Sometimes Anki is going to be most important. Sometimes it's going to be your lectures. Sometimes it's going to be research. Sometimes it's going to be hanging out with a friend that you haven't seen in two months. Tip number two, if something takes less than five minutes to do, do it immediately as soon as you're thinking about it. Don't schedule replying to an email. Just don't. I've done it so many times. Just don't do it. Tip number three, if you are not able to push yourself through a roadblock in one thing that you're studying or thing that you're doing, give yourself permission to move on from that with the expectation that you'll come back to it later. It may just be that you need a mental break from that one task that you've been doing for hours. And tip number four, do one thing every day that works on every one of your goals. I'm still working on incorporating all of these things into my life and I think I will be for the rest of my life. But I'm telling you guys, if we do these things every day, we're going to be able to rest so much better at night, have so much more time for ourselves and just reach our goals sooner, which is what we all want to do. And it's what this channel is trying to help you do. If MCAT studying is the specific goal that you are trying to work towards, we have courses and eBooks and everything available to you on our website, informingfuturedoctors.com. And I'm filming this right now on October 27th, 2023. 
just knowing how many things are going to come out in the next couple months that are going to help MCAT students all over the country, all over the world. And I'm so excited for it. And I'm excited to be back on this channel. Stay tuned on this YouTube channel, in our Discord, on our website to keep up to date with what IFD is doing. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video.